We've heard lots about how much everything around the Olympics will cost, but how does free sound? Here's Teresa Lalonde, our interactive and online reporter. If you think the Olympics is only expensive sporting events, think again. The Games are bringing a lot of activity, cultural activity. Vancouver is about to host the world's biggest party. Mike Klassen writes for CityCaucus.com. The blog is offering a list. You can skate, listen to a band, and zip track all in the same place downtown, all for free. And you can help others looking for free fun by interacting online. All of the sites are all connected by uh, Google Maps. And as well, you're able to comment and rate each venue. So if you go out to a few of them, we've provided a way for you to give your feedback and tell others to come out and check it out. You can see the Leonardo da Vinci exhibit at the gallery during the games for free, watch art on the side of buildings, and see a nightly light show over English Bay. David Lamb Park will be an all-live arts and entertainment venue. And don't forget the pavilions. Free music and fun, family by day, adult at night. The Centre for Francophone Culture will be on Granville Island. The restaurant behind me, Bridges, will be where Switzerland has its pavilion. Think chocolate and also think about dancing. On the island, three live shows, music, dancing every day. O'Doolin's Pub, Irish House, the four host nations house with Inuit throat singing, hoop dances and jigging. The Roundhouse, Casa Italia. The Russians take over Science World for their pavilion, Sochi House. The cultural side of the games aren't just downtown. Richmond, Whistler, Surrey, Abbotsford all have their own events and many for free. Go to our CBC website on the road to the games to find out more. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.